चैप्टर नेम इज फाइनेंशियल मार्केट फाइनेंशियल मार्केट मीन्स ए मार्केट वेयर एक्सचेंज टेक प्लेस बिटवीन द पर्सन हु वॉन्ट टू गिव मनी एंड एंड अदर ग्रुप बिजनेस ग्रुप और द डिमांड ग्रुप विच वॉन्ट टू टेक द मनी फॉर द इन्वेस्टमेंट तो देर आर टू साइड्स वन इज सप्लाई साइड अदर इज डिमांड साइड यू कैन सी ऑन द सप्लाई साइड देर इज ए फैमिली कमर्शियल बैंक्स फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन इंश्योरेंस कंपनी दे वो वॉन्ट टू गिव लोन एंड ऑन द डिमांड साइड देर आर फॉर्म्स इंडस्ट्री एग्रीकल्चर बैंक गवर्नमेंट वी वॉन्ट टू टेक मनी फॉर ए फर्दर इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट डिमांड डिमांड साइड ऑफ द फाइनेंस वट दे गिव मनी सप्लाई साइड गिव द मनी for a consideration that is dividend or interest etc the exchange take place between the two that place is called as financial market now you have to understand the whole concept of financial market uh, what is the purpose of financial markets market purpose is mobilization of saving into productive uses now if we uh, try to understand financial system there are households there are business firms and both are controlled by bank and financial markets now question arises what is the function of financial markets so first is mobilization of savings second is keeping a price settled price between the two investors and saver third is reduce the cost of reduce the cost of liquidity reduce the cost or liquidity maintain a liquidity these are the two four points mobilization of savings second fixing of price between a saver and investor third is to reduce the cost of transaction and fourth is liquidity so next is uh, now a question which come in the examination there are two type of market one is capital market other is money market now question arises should we go for capital market or sh- should we go for uh, money market so it depends on seven points which you can remember like this first is uh, maturity period period if you want to invest for a long term purpose so you are definitely you go for capital market capital market is long term investment market and uh, there is a money market it it is only for short term so first point is maturity period for how much time you have money to spare to so, uh, spare for investments second is participants who are the participants third we have to see the instruments if it is share or bond or something else fourth is investment outlay fifth is liquidity and sixth is safety and seventh is returns on the seven points we we differentiate should we go for capital market or should we go for money market so th- these are the points you can see on uh, back side is which is explain explained by me i'm making a simple chart that very easily you can understand first is maturity period in a capital market we have to invest for long term in money market for short term second major participants major participant in capital market is financial institutions mutual companies stock exchanges and in case of money market only commercial banks and non banking institutions or large companies or state governments which Uh, which are the called as participants main instruments in case of uh, capital market shares debentures bonds are the main instruments in case of uh, you say money market treasury bill commercial bill commercial paper etc now fourth is investment outlay what is meaning of investment outlay a huge investment is required in securities but in case of uh, money market also we if we want to go for a while so for a year we need uh, investment next is liquidity there uh, you know stock exchange there is a uh, market if they are marketable there is a, a liquidity always there uh, in money market also uh, enjoy high degree of liquidity because it is for short term from you take from 2 months to 12 months so in both case liquidity is there and then safety definitely capital market is riskier reason is that equity shareholder are the owner owner risk is attached with them and in case of money market it is safer for short term only and definitely where risk is more next point is returns where risk is more return is more so definitely in share market you have more returns 
in case of money market return or fix approximately. Now, if we, if we go for financial markets, we understand what are financial markets. So, there, there is a capital market, there is a money market. Capital market means uh, we deal in shares, uh, equity and debts. And if you go for money market, it deal with uh, treasury bills, uh, call money, commercial paper, commercial bills and term money. In case of uh, capital market, if you go there is a primary market in equity, there is a primary market, it is secondary market. Primary market means when shares are issued for the first time, they can be issued in public, public issue, there can be private placement. In public issue also, uh, nowadays there is EIPO, that is electronic initial public offer. Now you can apply online also as a uh, net, people are using lot of net and internet and everything is so uh, common nowadays. Next is you issue prospectus or right issues there in public issue case. In private placement, there are two ways. One is you uh, directly issue to uh, institutional investors or sale to intermediaries. Sometimes these uh, mutual companies, they, they uh, do agree, they agree, they agree, uh, they do an agreement with the company and take the shares from there. And in secondary market, as you know, there is a national stock exchange, uh, Bombay stock exchange and regional stock exchange which buy and sell the shares. The financial markets are under direct control of Security Exchange Board of India. As you can see on the background, I uh, explained. And uh, money market are controlled by Reserve Bank of India. Now, in money market, there is definitely low risk, unsecured and short term debts are there. And to meet, they are only to meet temporary requirement of the company or state or uh, mutual funds or commercial banks. And all the five definition I have explained on the previous, uh, you can see on the ch chart, easily you can understand them. There is a call money, this is only for uh, uh, very short term, you know, it, it is a reserve uh, bank ratio. What is call money? It is a, a ratio which is maintained by reserve bank with the commercial banks. The requirement is only for 15 days. The uh, bank do transaction with each other and for 15 days they take the credit. And there is a treasury bills, these are called as zero coupon bonds. Again, issued by uh, on behalf of RBI or, or RBI. This, these are only for from uh, 14 to 36 days. Then you come to commercial bills, bill of exchange. That again, you know, uh, you have studied, uh, there is a draw, dry and bank is involved. Again, it is very for very short term purpose and uh, readily it can be converted to cash. Then there is a commercial purpose. It is also a short term unsecured promissory note. Then there is certificate of deposits. Again, its time period is 91 days to one year. These are the five uh, uh, instruments which are floating in the market for money market. Now I am coming to stock exchange. What is stock exchange? It is its features, what is the definition is given. Uh, it is an organized market where exchange take place between authorized member under the rules and law, by laws. When I have uh, written over there on the uh, stock exchange, below stock exchange, first it is organized market, second exchange or security take place, third it is by authorized members only, fourth uh, rules and rule, uh, laws are to be followed so that uh, the investor should not be cheated. Now a question comes exa in the examination, what is the function of stock exchange? So to remember it, I have made a very simple memory technique. I made a graph or a vertical I have written savings and on the horizontal I have written investments as you can see and then I have written price, then speculation, then growth and then I have made a picture of a person who is uh, watching and weeping means uh, what to keep watch to maintain liquidity. How, now you can remember uh, mobilization of saving, second putting them in investment, third fixing of price, fourth speculation, fifth growth, fifth sixth watch, seventh liquidity. This you can remember by simple uh, a which simple chart which I made. Now what is the trading procedure? Trading procedure is very simple. It is now elect, elect, electronic system. First you start with opening of a DMAT account and um, uh, a person has to place the order through computer and after that computer accept the order and then uh, transaction take place, he matches and transaction take place and there is a delivery for the date of the payment, then delivery is made. These are the steps explained in trading procedure. Next is when they ask you a question, what is the objective of Security Exchange Board of India? Definitely. Any security exchange board of India, first is its interest is to look into the uh, weaker side. Weaker side is the investor. Any they should have, they have to see the interest of the investor. 
and with the exchange, with the second they have to regulate stock exchange, third they have to see ki if brokers or seller companies should not exploit the uh, purchaser, they should not be inside trading which is again I have written in objective of stock security exchange board of India. Now there is a uh, one question coming in the examination, what is the function of security exchange board of India? It is very simple, I have made a tree, tree means first of all they, uh, they develop the tree, development of the markets, second is regulate flow of water, regular regulation flow of to make rules and third is to protect the uh, investor, these are the three things. So what, what is development? Yani what is they do research work, they open new branches, they give publish information, this is development work they do. Second is that regulatory function, they have to make uh, rules and bylaws and they have to register all the uh, stock brokers and mutual funds so that they should not exploit. Third is protection, what is meaning of protection? They should be, uh, they should protect the people from unfair means, unfair practices, un, uh, in insider trading or uh, educate the investor. That is the purpose of function of Stock Exchange Board of India. Uh, this, in this chart I covered all the three points. What is Stock Exchange? Second is uh, what is the function of Stock Exchange? Then I covered what is the uh, function of uh, uh, Security Exchange Board of India and what is the objective of Security Board of Exchange Board of India. Now we are coming to uh, the new system. What is the Depository Services and DMAT account? Uh, DMAT account is simple. Uh, it is only keeping the share in the form of uh, electronic form in the banks. So in nowadays uh, there is services, this is called as paperless mechanism in which there are four players. One is issue com issuing company, the, sh the primary company which issue the shares. Oh, second is investors who invested the money and now there is a depository. Depository is the person who holds the share in electronic form. Nowadays only there are two, uh, two depositories in India, one is NSDL, National Security Depository Limited and second is Central Depository Services Limited and there is a depository participant, he is like a broker you can say, he is like an agent uh, who uh, do the transaction on the behalf of the investor. Once he gets the order, he, uh, go, uh, he places uh, that in market and once the order is placed and order accepted, automatically and the name are changed in issuing company, the new came, once the uh, transaction is complete, they deduct the name of the old person and put the new person name in their register. Similarly, depository also changes the name person name and transaction is completed. This is called as paperless mechanism, the new mechanism of the DMAT. Now a question comes, what is the benefit of DMAT account? What is DMAT account first? Converting, it is a converting process from physical share is converted to electronic form and credited with credited with a depository participant. Yani the shares are converted to electronic form and put that we put them in a depository account. We can only know, we can only check the shares. There is no need of keeping the paper as it was uh, uh, previously we have to keep the shares. Now question come what is the benefit of DMAT account? So to explain it I have made a simple uh, a very uh, colorful uh, chart in front of you in which I have shown you uh, first benefit is there is no odd lot of shares. You can share, sh uh, you can uh, you can sell one and one share also, one and five share also. Second there is no paperwork involved, paperwork is not required because only electronic you have to transfer. Third is no stamp duty, no stamp duty is required uh, and benefit of DMAT account, no odd lots are there, no paperwork is required no stamp duty is there, more foreign investment, I made a picture of George Washington, there is more, more foreign investment and then there is an elimination of form of physical form and then I made a liquidity, liquidity and settlement is so easy, these are the benefit of DMAT account, uh, thanks.